I'd only been teaching a few years when I started thinking, we have to do something different here. We, we just have to. These kids need something that we're not giving them. It was so non-traditional, the idea that a 13-year-old would go away to school. It's not your basic school. It's completely different than everything else. My dream has always been to help kids that the world has given up on. Someone a while ago told me that if your dreams don't scare you, they're not big enough. My dream is to go to the Olympics and um, do show jumping for Team USA. The first time I met Nick was when he came to visit to come to school here. And he had no interest in coming. Uh, he was angry, angry that he had to come visit angry that his life was the way it was. <laughs> he was one big ball of anger. I was born in 1999. Um, two years later, my mother died of cancer, and that was rough, and it continued to get rough. And then my father got remarried, and uh, change was that change was hard. We accepted him to come to school here, and um, his dad and stepmom dropped him off at school one afternoon. And I was standing at the window watching, and his parents drove off, and he just stood there like I have no idea what to do next. He'd been here about uh, three months, and got a call from his mom saying that his dad had passed away. I didn't think that would have happened at all, um, but she comforted me and helped me through it, and I, I'm really glad she was there, and I'm really glad all the staff members were there, because it would have been a lot harder. The main goal here at Adora is to take these kids from hard places who are terrified of life and terrified of themselves and don't even know who they are. They're just, a lot of the time they come in here angry at themselves, angry at their parents, angry at the world, angry at whatever happened, but to take them in and say it's gonna be okay. We used all the sort of traditional routes of therapy, trying to figure out how to help Donovan control his behavior. We were introduced to Adora through a pastor and another family in our church. They were very um, key to our understanding what the school was and kind of the first uh, supportive voice that said, you know, it seems really extreme sending your kiddo away to get help, but it's okay. We have coined the term trauma healing based learning and trauma healing based learning involves building a safe relationship. A lot of kids come in having experienced trauma and it's really hard for them to trust people. So animals are a safer being for them to trust because animals don't judge you. They don't talk to you. They don't look down on you. They just love you. Connecting with horses takes a lot of relationship, a lot of time to make that connection. And that has helped me a lot with connecting with people as well. Teachers walk into the room knowing that relationship is the key thing that they have to build before they can do anything else. It is a community where we do help each other and we're together all the time. And that means we fall, we get back up, they fall, we help them get back up. It's a safe place to land is what I think of it. It's Somewhere that's, it's a study environment where there's always someone around to be there for you. The goal for everyone here is just uh, connection, uh, connecting with everybody. That's something a lot of people don't do. Like they see a problem and they try to fix it. But here at Adora, people see a problem and then they connect with you, uh, which is something a lot of people don't do. We also know that kids from hard places need some control over their learning. 
in each thing that we do, we think, okay, how can we allow the child to have appropriate control over what they are learning? And we look for ways for them to grab on and take some responsibility for what they're going to learn and then run with it a little bit. We do a different style of teaching because traditional classrooms sitting in a lecture hasn't worked for these kids. So we get them involved physically, doing things, learning things. Um, they get out in the world and do things rather than just sitting and hearing about them. One of the things they say here is, uh, fair doesn't mean the same. Fair means every child gets what they need. We may be in the middle of a math class and one kid may be laying on the floor and another kid may be outside with a different adult working on a whiteboard. And they're learning the same things but they need completely different strategies. So you put all of those pieces together and you have trauma healing based learning. It really makes a difference in what you do. Adora helped me um, fight what I was scared of and teach me a lot of things that I needed to know about myself in order to succeed in the future. And now I'm I'm going to college, I'm pretty much self-sufficient, and um, I'm going to school to be an EMT. Adora sort of started out just a school, not something that was important to me, um, but over the years it developed more and more importance to me, and then it eventually became my home, and I feel very safe there. He's grown so much from that point to now where he, it is his niche in the world. It's what he loves to do. And he's happy whether he's failing or succeeding because he knows that failure will eventually lead to success. And we do have to be strategic about pointing kids back home. Parents who send their kids here are not left out of this process. People here meet your needs. What are ways your parents meet your needs? What are ways that they show you that you can trust them. Then we can transfer that trust from one or more staff members here to, to trusting family members and beginning to make that transition home. What is going on in your family is beyond the scope of what you alone can do. And it's okay to make this really hard decision for your family, for your child, so that healing can happen. We are citizens of the Adora community. We are citizens of Adora community. We are citizens of the Adora community. Come learn with us. Come learn with us. Come learn with us.